Mark my words, this is a weird way to start a FIFA clip, but just hear me out, Jason. Mm. Look out for Pornhub's ratings skyrocketing for either Messi or Ronaldo fanboys because one of them has came out on Twitter and all across the internet saying they are boycotting FIFA 17 oh. because one of the best players in the world is rated above the other, but I'm not going to spoil it. They know already. Yet. Okay, they if know. anybody's coming to this clip by this point <laughs> without knowing that Ronaldo is rated higher than Messi in FIFA 17... I guess, yeah. spoiler alert, we're not really a binge... Well, we should be a binge watch show. Honestly, not even getting FIFA 17 for the sole <laughs> reason that Ronaldo is rated higher than Messi. I am going <laughs> to go out and boldly state that I will give Ben Ament three hours after all these buddies are like, Dude, the new Ultimate Team's unbelievable. I'm not playing it. I, I swear to God, I'm not playing this game. Shit, you got, you got who in your Ultimate Pie? I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. I'm not playing it. All right, Mom. Mom, get the savings out. I'm buying it. It's going to happen. It was a really rapid turnaround. That was it. That's all the turnaround Seriously. he needs. One ultimate team pack opening, but his buddy gets a inform hazard, and that's it. He wants to play it. Yes, because nothing I've wanted more in my life than on my ultimate team is an inform hazard. That's it's very that's, real. That's, well, hey, brought it back. That stops traffic. That real. stops traffic for me as an inform Edon hazard. Uh, as for the FIFA rankings, we gave you numbers 50 through 31, and these are in order according to FIFA's website. So even though some players have the same rating, others are rated higher than others. Uh, wait till you see the comment section about Mesut Ozil. It's unbelievably funny. Pepe, Gonzalo Higuain, Pogba, and Antoine Griezmann sit at an 88, Griezmann being the highest 88, and then Thiago Silva, Luka Modric, Sergio Ramos, Thiabot Courtois, Mesut Ozil, and Sergio Aguero. If you have two of the dots over vowels in your last name, you get an 89. Actually, if you have any accent over your name. See, if it was, I take that back, Iguain's got an accent over his name too. Never mind, regardless. If, if there was, Francis, do you agree? I don't agree with Pepe being lower than Thiago Silva and Sergio Ramos. I think Pepe had a better year last year than Thiago Silva. Um, he played alongside Ramos, and a lot of the time was one of the reasons why Ramos was able to play at a higher standard. I thought Ramos had a good season. I didn't think he had a great season to push him up that higher. So I thought Pepe would have been an 89, but I don't have much... Uh, qualms with the rest of it. I think Pogba, I, I mean, do. this guy's jumped from like, what, a 75 way by up to an 88. I think Antoine Griezmann should be closer to a 90 after the season that he had. But as you know, FIFA are very uh, kind of conservative in, in how much yeah, they want I, to express their I gratitude. I, I think Griezmann should undoubtedly be a 90. And mm. I say that because if you're going to finish third on UEFA shortlist, if you're going to finish third or fourth or maybe even fifth on the Ballon d'Or's voting for best player in the world, you shouldn't be behind guys who aren't finishing there. Although we do know for a fact that those two award ceremonies are never kind to defenders or even midfielders. No, of course in, not. you got to score goals to win those awards. However, if you're going to be in that conversation, I think you should be a 90. But as for the top 10 themselves, Francis, it begins with David De Gea, the second highest rated goalkeeper with a 90. Uh, his save technique is acrobatic. He was also born on November 7th, 1990. <laughs> lots, of he is a, lots of information. He is a here. year younger than me. That is, uh, that's what you need to know about. There's a known as, there's a dash. Would you like to give him a nickname? Is, uh, oh, D Dave Saves. That's his already his nickname. Dave he Saves? Dave Saves. That's in, in Manchester United. That's what they call him. But like, David uh, De Gea is a great, uh, he's a great goalkeeper. He firmly deserves his place uh, amongst the best in terms of the game. He has been fantastic for Manchester United. Um, ever, the best thing that probably happened to him as a goalkeeper was the failed and comical uh, sequence of events moving to Real Madrid because yeah, they got a great goalkeeper. They gave Navas more of a chance. He turned out to be fantastic. And David De Gea um, has been up in his FIFA ratings. Who cares about silverware? Who cares about Champions Leagues? He's a 90 yeah, in that's FIFA. That's enough. all that matters. Uh, next up is uh, you score five goals in a short enough time, shorter than it takes us to record a clip. You get a 90 rating. That's Robert Lewandowski. Robert Lewandowski. Uh, weak foot with the four-star skill moves with three stars. I think that's actually right, given the fact that Robert Lewandowski is not necessarily the uh, has like the, the five-star skill moves of the Ronaldos and Messis of the world. So. No, he's a, he's, a, he's a finisher. He's in the box. He's a fox in the box. He's a poacher. Great positioning, great finishing ability. Didn't show it in the Euros, Hence which I thought the, uh, would have affected him. But 86. Seven shooting rating there. Next up, Jerome Boateng, one of the strongest, uh, especially uh, physically. 85 physicality on that rating, 90 defensive ability, and a decent pace for someone so big and so strong. 6'4", uh, and you're a 6'4 center back for Bayern Munich. No, like not a lot of people are getting around you. Build that wall. The yes. Bayern back four uh, altogether is pretty damn good with him at the anchor position. He is a monster. And he, he does very well for it, considering that this is a guy who didn't get playing time at Manchester City. And ever since that move, has only went on to 
um, showcase that he deserves that ability. The next one I'm actually interested in discussing because I I, I didn't know if Zlatan was going to move. I didn't think Zlatan doesn't move down. Zlatan tells you when you let him move down. But he is stayed put um, and he doesn't. It, it just that kind of symbolizes that this guy doesn't seem to be aging, doesn't seem to be getting any worse, which is a testament realistically for being better because when you're, when you're at the age of 34 and you're not getting any worse and FIFA still value you as one of the best players and in strikers the in the game, that is a phenomenal attribute. Well, can so we look at his card? 90. Considering the fact that he's uh, his big higher student. skill moves, again, the physicality, the shooting, the dribbling, uh, and of course the height. It's He's 6'5". You, if you're playing FIFA, you have Zlatan in the box, you just pound corner kicks right no into doubt. the middle and let him go up there. He's bigger than most of the defenders. He must be a nightmare to defend. Just overall, must do be a think, nightmare to defend. Do you think Zlatan, even with the size of his ego, like, would admit to his defending being a 35? Or do you think because he's ego, he'd probably be like, I, I can defend. Put me back there, I'll be fine. Yeah, I, I feel play. like his defense should be, a, it should be 88. At least up there. Well, by the Higher way, than Boatex. <laughs> there used to be a striker that played for Celtic. Those fans would be like, ah, I remember that. His name was Chris Sutton, phenomenal striker. He played centre-back for, like, at least half of the season because he was so big and strong, and he had a phenomenal, like, few games. It wasn't the best. Phenomenal. Few games. Few games. But he, he's, his defending was good. All right, so next up, uh, we'll move through the next few quickly before we get into the ones that everybody really wants to take a look at. Next up, Gareth Bale, followed by Manuel Neuer and Luis Suarez. You can run through those. Uh, again, all 90s. This is where the numbers yeah. jump up, and Suarez himself, a lot of criticism because Suarez had a better year than Neymar. I don't I, think there's I really a, I really this. don't think there's a debate on this yet. Neymar gets the third highest rating uh, at a 92 that was released today. Wait, they're the same ratings then? Same rating, but he's technically higher oh, because FIFA did these in order. Uh, I can't believe Neymar's younger than me. Um, <laughs> and also, again, he's so much more accomplished than I am. Uh, and then number 15, Lionel Messi with the blonde hair. Blonde Although, hair. the things up. to keep in mind with Lionel Messi, he has the highest dribbling rating in... Yeah. And wait, how does Messi FIFA. have four-star skill? <laughs> FIFA history. Yeah, it, we, I mean, how much more of a, a, a player could you get as an example of someone who's got what skill? You, you know what I mean? Need. You know what's amazing? So that's like the, the type of card is like the women you date. Basic. Uh, <laughs> next, Ronaldo, 94. Right. The highest rated player in FIFA, 17. He gets five-star skill moves. He gets 92 pace, a physicality that makes you drool because it's an 80. So you can pretty much, you don't even have to even hit sprint. You can walk into the box, and only people like Jerome Boateng will be able to take you down. Uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, a 94, the highest rated player in FIFA 17 for the first time in a long time. I think higher, maybe the first time ever that he's higher than Messi. That is, but it's, it's it, the only qualm I have with this is if you're going to tell me that because Ronaldo had a better year this year that distinguishes him from being better than Lionel Messi in FIFA, then why wasn't Messi better than Cristiano Ronaldo in last year's FIFA game because Messi had a did. phenomenal year. Suarez evade taxes too? No, but Messi did, so they had to put him below. Well, that could be a point. In, but, I mean, in a serious point of view, I'm saying, like, it, you can't give someone else a better rating if you've been kind of putting them there neck and neck for the majority of your FIFA career. And then, because someone, like, he did go in and le helped lead Portugal to a phenomenal year, but it's not like Messi didn't contribute to his national team either. It's this myth that because he missed a penalty and because he didn't score the winning goal in the World yeah, Cup, but he still helped lead them Ronaldo to phenomenal greatness. Ronaldo deserves to be the higher rated player this year, just like Suarez well, deserves to be higher rated than Neymar. Yeah, absolutely. It's but I'm saying they have, to, they, have to do, they have to be consistent then. Like, you can't just move one up and down when you've had them both be the same um, and not like last year when I'm mentioning that I thought Messi was a better player. He won the Ballon d'Or. He was phenomenal. Um, but you're not moving him. Like, well, yeah, so last year they didn't give him technically a higher number. However, he was the highest rated player in the game. Yeah, I just think when you, when you move so that, what, when you note. put them, when you clearly differentiate them by the 94 and 93, that's like, that's what FIFA players, that's the biggest thing you could do. Because now Ronaldo fanboys. Uproar. It's Ronaldo fanboys uproar. have that on the, like, they could just simply write every single response, 94. They could be like, no, Ronaldo shit, they did it. 94. Oh, 94. That's it. They'd no longer have to say anything else, and Messi fans will be pissed more than anything else. So yeah. that's why Messi fans are going to take to Pornhub to, to, <laughs> to use their spare time rather than play FIFA. It's nothing that's to do myth. with FIFA. Uh, yes. It has gamers, porn, Jason. Come on. Do I need to paint this picture for you again? No. It's what, especially football fans, it's what happens. So take to the comments, no. set it alight, let us know what you think. Lino Messi falls below Cristiano Ronaldo in the FIFA rankings. It is astounding, to say the least. Francis underscore Maxwell, Jason Rubin 91. 
Avatar.